Ojo Sego, hello everybody, my name is Shuma and welcome to another video. Today, I'll be sharing a little information, a story, and a song about dream catchers. A dream catcher acts like a spider web by trapping the bad dreams or visions while allowing the good ones to filter through. The bad dreams caught in the web get destroyed when the sunlight a morning hits the dream catcher. While the good dreams filter down through the feathers and gently reach the sleeping person below. Isaac's Dream Catcher, written by Bonnie Farmer. It was playtime in Miss Louise's class. All the children went to their favorite spot in the room. Kevin played with the trucks. Martha and Lisa looked at picture books. Cole decided to paint, but Isaac did not want to do anything. He stood near Miss Louise's desk, looking sad. Miss Louise was stapling paper pelicans to the bulletin board. Isaac tugged on Miss Louise's skirt. I had a bad dream last night. Miss Louise bent down to listen. I saw a giant monster, said Isaac. What color was his hair? asked Miss Louise. Green. Did he have big eyes or small eyes? Big ones, and they were yellow. Was he skinny? No, said Isaac, just a little bit skinny. He had pointy ears, and his hair was like spaghetti sticking straight up. Draw a picture of him for me said Miss Louise. Isaac got a box of crayons and some paper from his cubby hole and began to draw. He drew great big googly eyes that looked like fried eggs. Isaac showed the picture to Miss Louise. This monster needs time out, she said. Miss Louise crumpled up the drawing and tossed it in the garbage can. There! Now let's go build a tower, said Miss Louise. She took Isaac by the hand and led him to the building block table. Together they built a castle with a tower that had a king inside it. Every now and then, though, Isaac wondered if the monster would leap out of the garbage can. When playtime was over, Miss Louise rang a bell. Clean up time, boys and girls. Let's sing a little song. All the children sang together. Let's clean up our toys, every girl and boy. It's time to pack and get our mats so we can take our nap. But Isaac did not sing. He did not move. Martha said, hey, Isaac's not cleaning up. Never mind, our Martha, said Miss Louise. I'll see about Isaac. Miss Louise looked at Isaac's sad face. If I close my eyes, maybe I'll see the monster again, he said. Miss Louise waited until all the children were quiet on their mats. Then she let Isaac sit in her lap in the rocking chair. Isaac rocked back and forth, back and forth, but he still could not fall asleep. I wish the monster would go away, Isaac whispered. Let's catch that monster, said Miss Louise. She opened the cupboard where all the art supplies were kept. Isaac's eyes opened wide. There were crayons and scissors and bottles of glue. There were popsicle sticks, balls of yarn, feathers, and paintbrushes. There were jars of sparkling gold and silver glitter and colored macaroni, red, yellow, blue, green, and purple. There were more jars of paint and beads, plastic beads, clay beads, and paper mache beads. And there were piles of paper, furry pom-poms for clown hats, rolls of tin foil, and magic markers. Isaac had never seen so much stuff. Miss Louise always kept the cupboard door closed and locked. What are we going to make? 
asked Isaac. You'll see, answered Miss Louise. Isaac watched as Miss Louise took two yellow pipe cleaners and twisted them together. She shaped them into a circle to make a ring and looped some string around it. Isaac could not figure out what Miss Louise was making. He wanted to ask his friend Kevin about Miss Louise's ring thing, but Kevin was under his blanket, fast asleep. Isaac tugged on Miss Louise's skirt. Kevin snores, he said. Shh, said Miss Louise holding her finger to her lips. You don't want to wake up the other children before we finish our dream catcher. Dream catcher, repeated Isaac. That's what we're making, a dream catcher. It will catch all your bad dreams. When I was little like you, my grandmother made one for my baby sister, said Miss Louise. She bent a yellow twig to make the ring. Yellow willow trees grew in the woods near the river where I used to live. So did blueberries and wild strawberries. Birds would eat the berries and my grandmother used the feathers that fell from the birds' tails. She she hung the dream catcher over my sister's cradle. It's pretty br it's pretty brown. Beads sparkled in the moonlight. She said that happy dreams would float down the feathers to my sleeping sister. Baby's dream too? asked Isaac. Yes, answered Miss Louise. When a baby sleeps, dreams float around in the air above its head. Some are bad like that old monster, but many dreams are happy dreams. They sing and make us laugh. They tickle our chins and blow butterfly kisses on our cheeks. Isaac giggled as Miss Louise tickled his chin. Miss Louise scooped up a bunch of colored beads. She let Isaac slip a bead on the string. Then she made a loop. Isaac slipped on another, on another bead, and Miss Louise made another loop. They slipped and looped until all the beads were inside the ring of the string. Then Miss Louise pulled the string tight. What does it look like? She asked Isaac. A spider web. That silly monster will get caught in the spider web and disappear. Poof! Like that. Miss Louise snapped her fingers. You won't even remember him in the morning. Miss Louise slipped a yet very large yellow bead onto the string and tied a knot. Is it finished? asked Isaac. Almost, whispered Miss Louise. She attached four lawn strings to the ring and then slipped some beads onto three of them. Finally, she gathered up some feathers and hung them from the lawn beaded strings. There, now it's finished, she said. Can I take it home? That night, when Isaac went to bed, he wondered if the bad dream would come back. As his mother tucked the blankets in, in around him, he looked at the dream catcher hanging in the window. The rain circle made him think of a happy face. The beads inside the circle sh shone in the dark. They made him think of stars twinkling in the deep blue sky. The feathers fluttered a little in the breeze from the open window. They made him think of beautiful birds. He closed his eyes. Isaac dreamed he was flying on a bright yellow and pink bird against a deep blue sky. And all around him in this magnificent bird were sparkling stars in the faces of all his friends from Miss Louise's class. They were smiling and calling to Isaac. Fly, Isaac, fly! Isaac flew around the sky 10 times. The end. This is a Dreamcatcher song written by Gene Warren and sung in the melody of My Bonnie Lies Over the Ocean. I'm going to make a Dreamcatcher. I'm going to weave it just right. I'm going to add some feathers. And beads to make it so bright. Dream catcher, dream catcher, catch my dreams that are bad. bad. Dream catcher, dream catcher, bring me dreams that are glad. I'm going to hang my dream catcher over my bed tonight. 
So I will have only sweet dreams until the morning is light. Dream, catch your dream, catch your catch me dreams that are bad. Thank you and me glitch for tuning in to my video today. I hope everyone has a lovely rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bama pee.